okay so what is in my phone which device i'm using the settings and a lot more which i'm going to talk about in this video so if you find this video helpful and interesting one for you make sure to like this video also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe I me mean, this is just for normal things let's quickly move to the topic here the first thing which i'm talking about is as i'm using two sims as my primary sims of course i'm using iphone iphone 11 and if you're able to see two sims which means one is eSIM. i'm using iphone iPhone 11 here as you can see iPhone 11 the software version I'm using here is iOS 15.5 iOS 15.5 iPhone 11 eSIM supported you already got to know about this one and I think so you already know this 128 GB is the storage variant and the warranty is still here as you can see my device is not so old but chased right now maybe around on October as you are able to see with limited warranty available if you move on to the settings app I sometimes use light mode I sometimes use dark mode so it still depends upon the time it is not a big deal for me in ios you have all these app settings available in settings which is kind of really weird but yes this is what we have and this is the home screen ui which i'm using right now swiping right i don't have any kind of suggestions or something like that because i don't need that i just i'm just using clean one uh, my device is not jailbroken by the way the previous version which i was sharing with you on telegram was jailbroken that is 14.7.1 but this one is not and i'm not using any shortcut these this is the app library which is by default available and if you take a look at the recently added apps which i have a lot of apps i am using on my device i have installed a lot of apps including banking apps some few of the social media apps too like whatsapp and telegram of course it's for just my work purposes and instagram twitter kind of things are already there if you take a look at some few of the other things one of my favorite features in ios is this voice memes i use this thing for recording my youtube videos etc etc this includes a lot of extra features and it records better than android i tried a lot lot of android recording apps but this one just works like charm also it includes some few of the good things in recent panel why so because it's super smooth the gestures i've used so far in any of the android phones was not that great honestly but with this multitasking which we have in this iphone is just unbelievable as i'm using my device from approximately till now as june is going on so approximately 10 months idea and yes this this is something really good approximately nine to ten months that this is the word i'm using and uh, nothing this is super fast super great also let's just talk about the battery health because that matters 100 percent of the battery health and yes why and how because i don't know but yes this is 100 percent. so this seems to be quite good the battery backup which i'm getting here is easily i'm getting for a full day or maybe sometimes even more than a day with my normal usage not talking about the light usage not talking about the heavy usage so i think so it depends upon that and yes this is my battery graph if you're able to see battery level and activity my screen on time you all if you are able to see this is what we have in the last 24 hours approximately more than five hours of screen on time sometimes i can easily move on much some widgets i'm using we are just able to see control center as you can see like xiaomi it has the blur available but this blur is super good and it will not lag at any case so yes overall it's good this does not comes with the 8 gb or 12 gigabytes of ram but it will still give you best performance compared to any android device so far i'm not talking about the iphone 11 but almost all iphones have same kind of things and this is my primary device also i use iphone for video recording too if i move on to the video section i can switch between 4k and i can easily record at 4k 60 fps without having any kind of issues that good but i'm not using ios 16 so far i can use it i have the option available but i thought i shall not use it because right now iphone 11 is kind of my primary device so i'm not gonna use ios 16 right now for a few of the reasons last but not the least if you take a look at the outside of my iphone phone this is the back cover which i'm using let me show you once this is the back cover which i'm using here bought from the local shop so don't ask for the link of course and this was quite good a lot of users like this one and maybe you one too and yes this is the back black and glass with iphone 11 looks damn cool this is my advice this was about this my this video and i think i hope you like this if you like this video don't forget to like and share this video if you find this video helpful for you 
iPhone 11 this is right now as my primary device kind of and yes the tempered guard which I'm using right now is also bought from the local shop so found this one good so these were the things which we have right now in this video and this is all from today's short and simple video as I just mentioned if you like this video don't forget to like and share this if you want to don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I'll see you in the next video until then goodbye